Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's take a look at the transform component. So, what exactly is the transform component? Well, in simple terms, it's a way of determining and modifying an object's position, rotation, and size. Every object will have this in Unity. So, if we take this skull right here that I have in the scene, over here in the inspector panel, we can see this thing called transform, and this is the transform component. And as I said, it dictates the position, the rotation, and the scale of any object in Unity. So, ideally, every object, at least in a 3D environment, should be based upon an X, Y, and Z coordinates, as we can see dictated by these three lines right here. So, if we were, for example, to change the position of this skull on the X, which is across, as we can see here, we could manually type the position right here. So let's type 14, and we can see it's moved that way. But you'll notice as we press 1 to go to 14, it will automatically move to 1 before we type 4 for 14. Another way of changing this is hovering your mouse over the X, and you can see highlight blue, and then if you hold down the left mouse button, you can move the position of the skull quite easily. And this applies to every single aspect. So Y and Z as well, forwards and backwards. And you can always still type no problem. So they're the two ways that you can change. And it's the same for the rotation as well. We can change rotation on X, same with the Y, and same with the Z. It's as easy as that. And finally, the size, which is the scale. So size and scale are the same sort of thing within Unity. In this case, we can change it to 2 by 2 by 2. So keeping everything relative makes the skull look how it should do, but two times bigger. However, if we were to change the scale to 4 by 1 by 4, it would look massively distorted. So ideally, you need to keep the scale relative to the actual size of the object but you can still do the same and you can see you're having a massive weird thing going on there and you can easily reset everything by zeroing everything out back to its original size except the scale because you can see the scale here if we have zero it basically disappears because zero means that there is no size at all reset it to one by one by one and then you have your skull or whatever object you have back to its normal size so it's kind of easy to keep track of the basic attributes of any object using this transform. And always remember, to see the transform, we just click here on an object, or we can click it in the scene, and it'll usually be this first component within the inspector panel. Easy as that. So, guys, I hope that's been helpful for you, and I hope you understand now what the transform component is for. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, to stay up to date with all the content on my channel, because there is a lot for you guys to learn, and a lot for you guys to take in, and I hope it helps. So guys, thank you very much for watching.